The FBI is now telling us the father of three entered the country from Canada through New York on June 16th. They also believe two days later, they know for a fact he was here in New York, possibly earlier. We're also learning he tried to buy a gun. We have been praying to God for full and good recovery for our lieutenant. It's hard not to think about the what ifs for those who gathered at an interfaith service in Flint. Most now aware 50 year old Amor Fatui tried buying a gun days before the stabbing attack at Flint Bishop International Airport. A source now telling us he was denied because of citizenship. It is an act of injustice. It is act of, it's a hideous act that a man on the name of Islam can go and stab an innocent person on duty. Action News sources saying the father of three tried getting that gun at Gibraltar Trade Center in Mount Clemens. We've learned there was a gun and knife show there as recent as last weekend. The FBI confirming the 12 inch knife used to stab Lieutenant Jeff Neville in the neck was bought in the U.S. I think it's a, a good news story that we have an individual who attempted to buy a gun uh, in the United States as, and was unsuccessful. On Facebook, a hero son writes about his dad, the maintenance worker who jumped in to wrestle Fatui, saying my dad helped save a man's life from a terrorist without even thinking, going on to say he won't want the attention but deserves every bit of it. Lieutenant Dan Owens was also there trying to end this act of terror. It was very surreal. It was very emotional. Uh, to see him uh, six, seven hours earlier, uh, kneel, kneeling down on the, uh, on the carpet here with uh, blood coming out of his neck. Right now, the FBI is still trying to figure out why he targeted Flint and that airport. They are telling us right now he has no friends there or any obvious connections. Another hearing for Fatui will be on June 28th. In downtown Detroit, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron.